I get asked this question a lot by students. How do you balance a full-time job with making music? When I got back into producing and to Cosmic Academy a few years ago, I was working a full-time job in marketing. So of course I didn't have all the hours in the day to work on music. I also have responsibilities like my dog Jack and of course wanting to spend time with friends and family. So when I made the commitment to pursue DJing and music again, I knew I had to be smart about my time. So here's a few tips on how I balance my day job with making music. So my first tip is I would separate out my work into longer and shorter sessions. During short sessions, I would do things like watch tutorials, organize samples, work on lyrics, sound design, create new sounds. Since I worked a typical nine to five job, I would generally do my shorter sessions before my day started or after work. Shorter sessions were typically anything that was an hour or less. Longer sessions, anything that's more than an hour, I would generally do on the weekends because I had a lot more time. This is when I would do things like writing, arrangement, recording vocals, and mixing and mastering. Tip number two, batching tasks. So this applies a lot to the marketing side of music, so like social media posts. Instead of trying to come up with something to post on the day, I would plan out a content calendar with what I wanted to post maybe a week or even a month in advance. So I would spend a few hours a week coming up with ideas, captions, creating the videos or gathering assets and then plotting it into the calendar. And that way everything is already done. So I'll just check the calendar and see what I need to post and then I'll open up Instagram or you can use Meta's Creator Studio to then go ahead and schedule or post your post. Tip number three, be realistic about what you can accomplish. This is a marathon, not a sprint. So I'll typically list out everything I think I can feasibly do in a week, and then I'll prioritize them by importance. So for example, pushing a track or putting a set together for an upcoming show, those would be at the top of the list. And if that is all I can do in a week, then I know I've at least accomplished the most important tasks, and I know those are the ones that are gonna move the needle the most. I can always do other things on my list at a later time. So don't beat yourself up if you weren't able to do all the things that you had on your list. You can always do more later. Tip number four. Something I've had to learn myself and I still struggle with, but building in time to rest. It can feel like your to-do list is endless and there's so many things you might want to accomplish, but if you don't rest, you're going to burn out and then ultimately not be productive. This will only hurt you in the long run. And if you want to learn more on how to rest, check out this video, Five Bedtime Habits for Artists.